I got into playing bass uh, because of many reasons and factors. Uh, first factor was uh, listening to music and listening to the bass, um, which was between zero years old and 20 years old. Uh, I remember listening to lots of kinds of music and realizing and recognizing uh, the sound of the bass and feeling also the um, effect of the bass uh, to the music. Um, and by the age of 20, one of my friends decided to play the guitar and um, he was taking lessons and practicing. One day I visited him at home and um, he was uh, struggling with a riff for one week and I thought maybe I can try playing that riff and I just played it in one second. And I thought to myself, okay, if this guy is uh, with lessons and everything, um, struggling uh, with that riff uh, for one week, but I just played it in one second, so that means I have the talent and I have the passion for the music and I have the fa passion for the uh, bass so why not to own the most beautiful instrument in the world? My first bass was uh, Aria Pro 2 and that was in 1996. Um, I started to uh, figure out what I can do with the bass actually because of lack of teachers and lack of uh, music schools in Cairo, Egypt. Um, I, uh, I just started my, by my own um, and it was not a very good idea for my family that I would buy the bass or learn it or play it. So I started to do that behind their back. So as a self-taught musician, um, I started to just figure out what, what I can do on the bass and I started to create uh, exercises for myself and play while my family is sleeping at night. So after being uh, playing at night uh, and practicing and doing whatever, you know, I was not really understanding what am I doing, but I was spending time with the bass. That's the most important thing to spend time with your instrument because it took me just one year, you know, to found my first band uh, in 1997 and uh, I just went on uh, making bands and joining bands and creating projects and listening to more music and trying different things. I bought more basses and I tried many sounds and different amps and I, I tried many things and different kind of music. I started to progress and between um, 1997 and 2007 uh, I was just performing and playing and joining projects and I became a professional musician. Uh, by 2007 actually I composed my first composition and it was for a solo bass. It was a solo bass composition and uh, it was Hazelcut. Um, and since that time I started to compose. And by the time I started to realize that um, um, I'm a composer, I'm not just a bass player or a performer, I'm a composer and I have a lot of music inside of me that I have to write down or record. So um, I, in the year of um, 2017, I was almost done with my um, uh, with nine songs, the nine songs that they are in my first album. Uh, and all of them were uh, for uh, solo bass like performance and uh, I thought to make an album, to make a solo bass album and in 2019 I recorded uh, that first solo bass album and it was released in uh, September 2019 by a label called Triptych uh, from Netherlands and the album's name is Aloof I am uh, very lucky and honored uh, to be an official artist uh, 
working with uh, EMG pickups, TC electronic, towers, uh, pedals, and fusion bags. Um, I currently have two bases, and both of them are five string. One is uh, electric uh, fretted, and one is acoustic fretless. And uh, both of them are designed by me, and they are built by uh, a great uh, luthier from uh, Istanbul. His name is Ekrem Oskarpat. And um, I've tried playing four, and of course, five and six. Um, different brands, different shapes, uh, I felt like, okay, uh, there's something with the five string. It creates a balance uh, for my hands and for my mind. Uh, I feel the most comfortable with the five string. I practiced uh, and played uh, slap bass uh, a lot uh, because I was just, just because I was asked to. Um, uh, people needed me, compose other composers and singers. And they needed me to to play some slap in some recordings and in some videos and in some songs. And I um, uh, I used to do that, but then I ended up with not feeling that this is the most suitable tool uh, or way to express myself. The secret is loving uh, the bass. The secret of playing uh, any instrument is loving the instrument and spending as much time as you can with. My favorite bass is basses, are um, the basses that I designed uh, and they were built with Akram Oscar Pot. Uh, I tried lots of brands. I owned more than 15 basses and I tried more than 100 basses different uh, models, shapes, string numbers, um, uh, weights, everything. Um, I, I was never feeling like 100%. Uh, so I, I, I got the idea of uh, uh, designing my own base and building my own base uh, with a cooperation with, with a luthier and I searched and I found Akramos Karpat, as I said before, and we did our project. That was uh, in 2009. In by 2010, I was contacting Akram and we built our first base. Well, I can say that my godfather of the base is Steve Harris of Iron Maiden. Uh, he's, he was the main influence, and um, I think he is the main reason I chose the base to play along with many great bass players, of course, but um, then I got to uh, listen to more bass players after playing the bass. Uh, I love Geddy Lee of Rush. Uh, in jazz, I like also um, John Petitucci as a composer. I like him very much. Um, and uh, I remember listening to the first fretless bass in my life being played by Colin Bass of Camel. Um, also, uh, in jazz, I like uh, Elaine Caron as a composer and as a performer very much. Then I got to know, of course, uh, Michael Manring, a great, great, great composer, very different. Uh, and um, uh, I was honored to um, make something small, like a start of maybe an album, maybe a project with uh, Michael. Uh, we uh, composed a song together, the name is um, Handring. As I said before, I was searching for something all that time, and then when I decided, when I decided to uh, build my own bases, I um, I searched a lot, years. Uh, I made some researches about the wood combinations and um, how can I achieve maybe the tone in my mind, and I succeeded in the end by the help of Ekram Oscar Pat, uh, and uh, you can. Uh, know about my dream tone that I achieved by listening to my album Aloof. Actually, I'm working more uh, nowadays um, on Ahmed Haini Trio. Uh, I want to listen more and more to my compositions being played by different musicians. Uh, I'm trying to play with very different musicians from very different cultures, very different instruments, 
um, and also um, I'm focusing uh, at the same time on my solo project. There is no greatest or best ever uh, when it comes to art. 